everybody and welcome back it is me Tasia, and you are watching Tasia view and y'all it has been a minute since i have like you know just sat down and have done my makeup so that's what i'm gonna do today and i'm also gonna be doing a foundation review on the wet n wild photo focus dewy finish foundation which i'm so excited but before we go i upload twice a week so just go ahead now subscribe down below let's be friends and let's go when i say it has been a minute like it's been a it's been a while so i already got my brows done and i know y'all don't have time so we just we're gonna skip through they're done but i did not use my favorite concealer the covergirl true blend undercover concealer i didn't use it today today i used the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer some different and I'm just gonna use the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk Palette today. Just because I was like feeling a pink, just a pink lid, just, you know, just something, you know, cute. First, I'm gonna go in with this skin tone shade here and it is Sunset Rose. Just gonna put it in my crease. So y'all, it has been a minute and I feel like, <laughs> what is going on? But it has been two weeks since I have uploaded to my channel. And you know, it's just, I've been like, adulting <laughs> so there's that it's okay i got it figured out now so back to your regularly scheduled program i actually started a new job now i know when i have time to actually sit down record you know edit all of that fun jazz so i should be all right now now i'm just going in with the shade here pink moon I'm putting this all over my lid. Is it gonna do anything? This color is super light, so you just gotta build it up pretty much to get to where you wanna be. So like I said, super basic, super simple, because really all I care about is this foundation. Because if you watched my previous video of my top five favorite drugstore foundations, you will know that this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is one of my top favorites. Right now, I kind of feel like a superhero with a mask on. So I'm waiting for my lashes to dry so I can pop them on real quick and finish the rest of my face. That seriously took entirely too long. Like, lashes. It's something about lashes. Ugh. Why is it such a struggle? Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. God, this looks so good. And now I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation with the Dewy Finish. I already love the first Photo Focus Foundation. So this is just like a bonus, for real. Like what's not to like by the way this is in the <laughs> desert beige it says it hydrates and smooths complexion thank you jesus for a luminous finish buildable coverage for normal to dry skin okay i mean do you see this like have you ever seen perfection because if not this is it goes on super smooth i think it's a pretty good match i mean can we just take a minute like i already knew i was gonna like the foundation because i just think i don't know like the first one was so good i'm like they can't mess up the second one like you just can't my skin looks even smooth like luminous glowy i just love it going in with the same concealer i used for my brows and my lids it's the makeup revolution conceal and define if you've never used Makeup Revolution foundation or concealer, you're tripping. Like, you need to hurry up. Valentine's Day just passed. Let me tell you. So, okay, I live in Ohio, which we have nothing. And the fact that we have a boil spot is like mind blown. So we were going to go there on Valentine's Day. Well, we actually went. And when I say it was packed packed i went up to the guy like hey how long is the wait he's like oh about 30 35 minutes we look like oh 
oh, okay. And 15 minutes go by and I'm just like looking around like nothing's happening. Like nobody's moving, nothing is going on. And I'm like looking around and I noticed like literally like a million and five people sitting at the bar just like with nothing. And I'm like, wait, please tell me all these people are not waiting. Like, because they were here before us. So if they're waiting, this is an issue. And the guy next to me was like, yeah, they're waiting. And I'm like, <laughs> not me, not me. No, the guy that told us 30 minutes, you're rude because you're a liar and you knew it was longer than 30 minutes. How dare you? So we look at each other and we're like, no, no. So we left, went to this restaurant called Bonefish. Super good. I don't know if Bonefish is everywhere. I don't know. I mean, if it's in Ohio, <laughs> I'm assuming it has to be somewhere else. But we went there super good super quick and no wait like how no wait got in sat down the food was bomb and to set i just used the la colors loose setting powder and it's in the shade light you guys dollar store like and it's good so hit up your dollar store so yeah what did you guys do for valentine's day did you do anything did you do nothing at all like, what did you guys do? By the way, this broke. Don't ask me how. Um, I just picked it up one day and it fell off. So there's that. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer. I was just like super lazy. I don't feel like, and I have like my lesson. This is the Rimmel Maxi Blush in Sweet Cheeks. And I'm gonna use this Too Faced highlighter. Where's my thing? because it has like a rose gold like undertone and I just feel like with this pink, like why not, you know? I just added a little bit of nocturnal underneath my lower lash. I also used the Dose of Color Nude Mood Matte Lipstick. Set my face with the Longwear Sheer Envy Setting Spray by Hard Candy. So right now it's 10.30 in the morning. I'll be checking in with you guys throughout the day just to let you know how the foundation is wearing and if you need to spend your money or not. And I will see you guys later. All right, you guys, I am back. It is 9.30 at night and I am so beyond ready to wash my face and go to sleep. I wanted to show you guys what my face looked like after 11 hours, 11 hours of wearing this makeup. And this is what my face looks like. So the only thing I touched up was my lips, obviously. For the rest of my face, I really feel like everything still looks good. Everything is still in place. Like there's really, you know, I already knew I was going to like this foundation because the other one is one of my top favorites. But you know, like it just feels good to actually test it out and show you guys what it really does, you know? Like you gotta see this for yourself. And it's just so good. The only thing I would say is that my forehead is oily, which is always oily. So really can't put that on this foundation. Like girl, your forehead is always oily whatever nothing missing nothing has moved nothing has shifted so if you haven't already just go out and get you this foundation six dollars like go get this foundation and quit playing be careful though because they look the exact same only difference is at the bottom it says dewy on this one and this one just has the shade down here but other than that they're just the same but Either one you get, if you get the other one on accident, like they're still both really good foundations. So it's not like you're screwed. All right, so that is it for this foundation review. As always, I hope it was super helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if you've already tried the Photo Focus foundation. If not, let me know down in the comments below when you're gonna go get it. And as always, go ahead and subscribe so you can stay along for the journey and I will see you guys next time. Bye.